Hello, so today we are going to build a beautiful front-end feature. Now you can see that I'm on the homepage of GitHub, and if I hover on some kind of user's uh, name, we can see that a pop-up shows, and we can see some additional details about the user. Same with the repositories. If I hover, then some additional details about this repository are loaded. And this is the kind of feature, a hover card that we are going to build. So here is an example of the final application where we have a list of users, and uh, when I hover on uh, a user's name, a hover card appears. And you see, uh, we don't load this uh, data into the page from the very beginning, because if uh, we have a lot of records and a lot of data, then it can be quite costly to load all of it. But uh, we get this additional data only on our request when we hover on a user. So we hover on a user and a tube frame uh, sends a request to the server to get uh, a page that contains this additional information. And uh, it uh, sends us a response. Okay, it doesn't want to preview. It sends us uh, a response uh, with this uh, page. So here I'm uh, just hovering on different users and you see additional information is uh, loaded onto our page. And if you look quickly enough, you can see that there is a millisecond loading animation while this information is uh, being loaded. So uh, let's try to build this kind of feature using the Hotfire Turbo Frames. So uh, I've actually already got a small application set up where I have uh, a small list of uh, people and some kind of personal data of these people. So an address, a phone, a date of birth, first name and last name. And uh, let's say I want to display only the first name and last name by default and uh, only on an additional request, I'm going to display the address, the phone and date of birth. So how can it be done? Let's first think of just in terms of just the uh, HTML. Uh, there is actually a nice uh, HTML tag named details, HTML details. So uh, it is basically the most basic HTML dropdown that works out of the box. So uh, let's try using this details tag. Here we are going to have the name of the user and when we open the dropdown, we are going to have some additional data. So uh, let's go to our person partial and uh, try to move something into the dropdown. In the summary, so it's kind of the name of the dropdown, we are going to have the person first name and person last name. In the summary tag, and inside we're going to have the address, phone and date of birth. Let's see. So I will refresh and now we have this show button. Let's also move it from the index uh, into the partial. Okay. So you see now our list is uh, much more condensed. And if uh, I click on any user, if I want any additional information, the information will be shown. Okay, but uh, if I reload and open the HTML, you see all this uh, information is uh, already loaded uh, in the server. So. Uh, when we load the page, everything is already there. We don't uh, send any additional requests. And imagine if we have a lot of records and uh, if we have some additional computation that we have to do, then uh, showing some kind of information, it can uh, become quite costly. So uh, what if we want to show, uh, to actually load the address, phone number and date of birth only when we um, uh, open that drop down. Well, for this, we are going to use Turbo Frames. We are going to send a request to load uh, a template uh, that contains some additional data about the user. So uh, we will move uh, this information into a separate view. I'll create a view. Let's name it hovercode.html.erb. And I'll move the address, phone number, and date of birth, uh, and the link to show into the hovercard uh, template. Okay, and I want to render this template somehow. So I'm going to create a turbo frame uh, tag. Let's say equals turbo frame 
tag. Uh, we'll give it a unique name. So DOM ID person and uh, let's say hover code or thumbnail. Then we will uh, say loading lazy, meaning uh, that uh, it will load only when it becomes not hidden, only when it becomes visible on the page. And importantly, we will pass a source URL. So a source URL, for it, we would need the, to have a root and a controller linking to this content in the hover code. So let's create a root. Let's go to config roots, and let's create a root for the information that we get in this hover code. So resources people member do. So member means that uh, we are going to scope this to the user's ID. And we'll get, say, we'll have a get request. Uh, and we'll get hover code. So the controller's actions name will be hover code. Now let's go and look at our roots. And we have this hover code person path. And you see it is scoped by the person's ID. So let's add this uh, hover code action to our people controller. Here we have our show action. And next to it, let's say dev hover code. And we also want to get the, the find the person by the ID for the hover code. So we will add the hover code to the before action set person. Okay. So uh, what is the root? It is hover code person path. And now in our person uh, partial, we have the source that would be hover code person path at person. And we can add some kind of additional animation for our loading. Let's say we'll just add the word loading. Something like this. So uh, we have a tube frame tag with a unique ID with lazy loading that goes to a URL. And uh, in this uh, URL, we will render this uh, hover code HTML ERB template. Will it work? Let's see. I will uh, go back to our people, try to open a person, and you see we have this loading word, but uh, nothing else. Let's go to our network. And here we had an error in loading a hover code. Let's clean it up and see if we get an error if we try to load another hover code. Okay, we get another error. Why is it so? Because uh, the response, okay, because we have an undefined variable person, because it should be at person. So at person. Okay, let's see if it works now. I will clean up the network tab, try to open something. And uh, well, no content seems to be visible or loaded. But we see that in the response, uh, we actually have the content, but it is not uh, becoming visible. Why is it not becoming visible? Because uh, it is present on the page, but it is not wrapped into a tube frame with the same ID. So we would need to wrap this content that we want to display into a tube frame with the same ID. Let's do that. I will uh, get the same tube frame tag, but remove uh, the loading and the source and uh, just wrap all the content into this tube frame tag. Okay, and here I will make it at person. Now let's uh, refresh. I will plug in the network tab and you see, now uh, each time when I make the content visible, it sends a request to the server and gives us a response with uh, the right content. <laughs> okay. So uh, now it works for us with the HTML details tag. And it's just a matter of CSS for us to make it work on hover, just like this. And let's add this kind of CSS. Okay, so we are going to create some. We are going to create a tag similar to our details tag, but we will say we'll have a span or. Uh, actually, div, and we'll give it a class, and the class would be a hover wrapper, for example. Okay, and 
inside we'll have some kind of text like uh, hover on me and inside we will also have some kind of uh, additional div with an uh, id hover content and uh, this is hidden so the idea is when we hover on anything that is inside this div the hidden content should become visible now let's have a look at our html you see nothing happens at the moment but if we look uh, into inspect element we will see that uh, there is uh, yeah this is hidden is visible so uh, let's go to our css file assets style sheets application css and here we will say that uh, dot hover wrapper and we will have hover content so hover content inside hover wrapper by default will be invisible so display none let's refresh and you see now the content is not visible if we open the id this is hidden inside our css and uh, let's say when we hover on this then it will become visible so let's uh, say hover wrapper on hover it will say display block not display none let's see if it works i will try to hover on something and you see it becomes visible now it is in a div so even if i hover somewhere here it becomes visible i'll make it uh, a span so that I have to hover exactly on this text. Let's see, hover on me and the hidden content becomes visible. Okay, looks good. Now let's uh, just try to simulate the same behavior here. I will uh, add the person's first name and last name and I will add the turbo frame tag. Now I will refresh. And now we have uh, two different ways uh, of uh, calling uh, our turbo frame. The first way is when opening the drop down. The other way is when hovering on text. So you see, it also sends a request to the server and also shows some additional text here on the click drop down, here on the hover text. And it is just up to you for you to customize uh, how this uh, CSS is displayed. So uh, if I was to customize it, I would uh, say something like position absolute uh padding uh six pixels or let's say 10 pixels uh border radius four pixels uh background color would be black uh color would be white uh yeah i think that's fine let's refresh now when i hover you see, we have this kind of uh, nice uh, tooltip uh, thingy. And one last thing. So what will happen if we click uh, show this person? Nothing really happens. Why? Because uh, it tries to navigate inside the tube frame unsuccessfully. So importantly, one more thing that we will add here is uh, target top. Target underscore top like this and like this so that all the links inside this turbo frame tag uh, break out of the turbo frame now let's see if it works i again hover on something click show this person and we have a full page direct so looks good okay well that's it thanks for being with me and see you in the next episode